welcome to a shop with me at our Cheater Max. So, the start, I found this super cute salt and pepper shaker. And unfortunately, it had a dent in the lid, so I didn't buy it. But I thought it was so cute. It came in a little stand. And then I happened to notice there was like four or five of these Gouda blocks, which is like, I thought you had to refrigerate that. So, concerned. And there was this super cute checkered little brie cheese baker. I thought it was so cute, the little dish. Um, and it kind of made me then pan over to either this little green loaf pan. So cute. Love the pastels. And there was also this loaf la glass pan with lid. Glass loaf pan. Gloaf? And I thought it was really good for like if you're going to travel to have like a lid on it so you don't have to put it in another dish. Um, and then they had this silicone lid set. So cute. And they had it in green as well, which we'll come back to. But Joanna brought over this microwave kind of tray cover so that you can cover your food and not get it splattering all over your microwave. And it also folds. So it's great for storage. Um, Joanna also really likes the silicone lids. So we thought about it. I don't know if we actually bought it though. We did buy it. We did buy it. Okay. The section right next to that had some cute air fryer liners, but also this tray to pop in your air fryer. If you have one of the, like the stainless steel bigger ones, which we do and I love it. And that tray would fit perfect in it. Over here though, best thing. So on the bottom, there's that little spice rack, which we did end up buying um, as you'll be able to see, it is there's a second one in our cart, but we loved that. We thought it was so cute. It stands up. It has the glass jars, and we almost bought this other one, which had more of like a light, almost like bamboo lid on it. It does take up more room, so we decided that we wanted something to save a little bit more space, and also the lids just kind of popped right off, which I know they're technically supposed to, but that easy is just I, I'm worried that I'm going to make a mess because I pick things up by the lids all the time. So if I drop that, that I would hate it. What I don't hate though is these cutting boards. I love, first of all, those pink ones, but most of all these ones because they come in a stand. There's four different types, so you don't have cross-contamination and it saves room as well. But I found these green straws. They weren't glass, so I really didn't want them. Don't love that. But these chopsticks are so cute with the little stands. And then Joanna found this cute little lunchbox. I loved it so much. It was so cute, but not as cute as Joanna with this tiny little grater. She was so happy, and we should have bought it. I also found just like this random ice pack on a shelf. Why? Why? And then I found this iced coffee concentrate, which I thought was like really great if you had to be on the go just you i think the instructions said you just can add it in milk and i thought that was so cool and then somebody obviously made a decision and left these plants but there was also so many macaroons and just so much food then we bought this it's this cute little storage tray which <laughs> joanna quickly brought over this maple syrup dispenser which i think we also bought but there's a storage tray where you can put ice underneath and you put your vegetables on top or your fruits whatever you want to put and it keeps them cold and we like i said we did end up buying this which i'm super excited about because i think it'll be so great for like having guests over or if you want to just like prep some snacks and have them ready um, i also saw this fajita skill tray like in the restaurants which we did not buy but then i found it even bigger one of those containers that you can put ice on the bottom again we didn't end up buying that one because we thought it would take too much room up but uh, it was such a good find like if you are going to cater if you're going to have people over i think that this is such a great buy because you're going to be able to prep your food keep it cold and it'll like you you always worry about your like food getting warm if it's a cold food or your food getting cold if it's a warm food and this really takes care of that keeping that cold food nice and chilly while you have it out so we did end up putting it back but no worries we still got the small one and then the next aisle over the cutest thing i ended up buying this i'm going to be giving it to joanna as a gift don't worry she knows she was there but it was so cute and they had so many cute glasses and different decanters 
it was just so cute. I just couldn't leave it. And it was very fragile feeling. And for that, I'm a little bit nervous, but you know, it was just too cute to leave. It's going to look so cute, like in a guest room eventually one day. And like, uh, there's just so many cute things. There's Joanna. She, you see, she really wanted it. And she put it down thinking, oh, I guess we won't get it. But I was like, we can't just leave it here. Look at how happy she is. She wants it. So we talked about it. We did end up getting it. She looked at another one first, but it just, this one, this is the one. Afterwards, I found this really cute desk organizer. I really wanted it. I didn't love the color for my aesthetic. I prefer more of a pink. And they even had a purple one, but I just, I really liked it. I liked the storage spaces and the little spots for the drawers that you could put like sticky notes, thumbtacks, whatever, put like pens, papers on top. I just thought it was so cute, but unfortunately, they did not have one that matched my aesthetic. I did try to convince Joanna to get the purple one or she even likes green, but she was more invested in this kind of storage. And that would honestly be great for my crafting. I was thinking with all my little beads and and just small random miscellaneous things. And then I saw this. I love this. Super cute. I can imagine all my skincare in there, but I couldn't imagine where I would put it. And then we kind of moved over, over to the stationary side. And there was so much Hello Kitty stuff. It was so cute. I love Hello Kitty. I saw these cowboy boot pencil toppers and then they had like little dumpling and sushi erasers, which I don't really use pencils, so I didn't end up getting. But Joanna saw this little cute book that reminded her of her sister. We saw disco ball pens and they just had so much cute stationery this time. But I don't think we really ended up getting anything from the stationery because we didn't have a need for it. As you can see, there was a butterfly calling me, but I didn't buy it. I did really want this Hello Kitty pencil, uh, what's it called, a pencil holder, but didn't end up getting that. I'm highly considering going back and getting it. Um, and we we're also looking to see if they had any like cute cards or bags. Again, they had Hello Kitty. It's just Hello Kitty is in. The shelf looks like it's gonna fall. Like, it's it's in there, but... So from here, I found these really cute nails that were just kind of laying around. They were on sale, but they're a little bit too long for me. And then they had even more cute glasses and cups. I was so excited. So cute. And Joanna pointed out that they had more Hello Kitty cups on the bottom. And, like, <laughs> that's when we turned around and saw a whole Hello Kitty display. I was just so excited I love Hello Kitty and they had so many cute things. I didn't end up buying anything because we're saving up and we really were only buying, th trying to buy things for like the new house or like for gifts for like Christmas um, because we've been trying to buy one Christmas gift a month so that we have 12 by the end of the year. Um, but yeah, so we, we didn't get anything super, super fun for right now, but we saw a lot of cute stuff. Joanna found this friends faux flower vase which every time i see this i say it reminds me of her mom so we were with her mom and she pointed out and said mom is thinking of you or something like that um, and then that's when we got to the aisle where uh all these statues were here and they had tons of them they had frog statues poodle statues fairies lying in a flower dish sleeping i wish i was sleeping joanna's mom had found a really cute porcelain dog that would match the porcelain cat and then joanna found a porcelain cat and then joanna found a really cute like an outside light it lights up joanna's mom did end up buying it me and joanna found statues that were literally us and then joanna found a basket that our future flower girl aka literally joanna at our future wedding um could throw flowers out of but <laughs> here she is showing me how she's going to be fl throwing flowers down the aisle and then I found some more fun statues. I really liked this little guy. I thought he was so cute. I like, I, I want him. And then Joanna found a little dragon statue. And that was so cute. Uh, I just really liked all the little cat statues. Call me a crazy cat person, but I'll lean into it. I don't care. And then also that was me and Joanna as dragons. And then she found a really cute topper to a candle. It was just like really bouge, but I'm pretty sure the, ca uh, the candle itself smelled 
really bad. Now, I dare you to sit there and tell me that all of this stuff is not perfect for, like, a summer beach dinner party. I've been told it's spring next and not summer. Uh, so I guess they would be good for a spring dinner party. Don't, don't quote me on that. Or just, like, a summer party for, like, any sort of event. Any sort of spring event. Spring. Spring. And then also, Joanna found this really cool grow lamp, which... I don't know if I told you yet, but I am really into growing plants right now. But let's get back to the summer. Look at how cute these dishes are. I thought this was the cutest cup. And I just love the shape of it and the color. And it was like acrylic. So you weren't worried about breaking it. I found purple ones that I thought Joanna would like. And then Joanna found some guac bowls, which so cute. And I was trying to convince Joanna to get, to get them. And then afterwards we found those cute acrylic tumblers and they were also so cute but then i found these pink cups which i thought were even better than the first pink cups that i found and i 100 was 100 would have bought them had i been shopping alone because i love them right next to it though was this really cute tulip candle which i just thought was so darling again perfect summer decoration also as tell as me why i just took this random set. still of this cup I did end up actually showing you the cup itself, which was, again, so freaking cute. And it was on clearance, but I'm not sure why. So I didn't end up buying it because I'm pretty sure there's going to be like a crack in it or something. And I also saw a onion prepper, which I thought was really cool, also on clearance. And we already have one, so we didn't end up getting this either. We have like a chopper and a mandolin. Right next to it, though, is this super darling picture. It's so cute. Definitely cottagecore vibes. Not on clearance, but I loved it so much. It was so cute. And there was also a lot of Tupperware containers on clearance, which scared me. This cute little calico cat, which I'm always worried that there's like a secret crack or something. Of <laughs> And this guy, he had nothing wrong with him. I just think that nobody was buying him. But he was cute. I don't understand why. I also saw this really cute dish. We're going to cut that last part out. Me and Joanna were then looking at like some of the pots and pans and this in my babe era cup, which I'm always in my babe era. Who are we talking about? Also found this random styrofoam blob. Don't know why I touched that. I think it was because it was pink, but it's okay. We didn't end up buying it. What we did look at though was all these super cute flowers. Again, very cute for the summer. Best mama ever a really cute birdie dish which i loved i wanted to get but we didn't get it and then i love these twisty candles i didn't show you enough but the twisty candles are like my favorite i didn't think they were real at first so i'd give them one a light scratch and that's when i realized it it was a real candle and at one point i turned around and joanna had done the same thing she just gave it like a light scratch and i was like i did that too they are real so we moved on over to the pet section. They had a lot of pet stuff that I don't trust at all in one single teacup. They did have a cute cat toy tunnel, which super cute. I bet Luna would have loved that. And then Joanna pointed out they had Tiki Cat soft shoes, which she said were really good. They were a really good brand. And I honestly thought about getting some, but we get the Trader Joe's cat treats. They had some enrichment toys for cats, tons of scratching posts. And then they had like the whisker, the like whisker safe cat bowls, not safe, but it didn't bother. It doesn't bother their cat, little cat whiskers when they're eating. They also had a water fountain that was electric, but we get nervous about those. A chom chom roller is a necessity too. If you ever have pet hair, chom chom rollers are just so good at getting all that hair up. They also had tons of dog toys, which we don't have a dog, but we were looking at this little cat bed for Luna. We thought that she would love that. And Joanna's mom found like a cat scratching post that was sideways. I don't know how to describe that. But if you took a look at our cart real quick, you can see that we did actually find quite a few things. We also found a pet bed that looked a lot like the notebook that we saw earlier that reminded us of Joanna's sister. Uh, and just some really bougie beds. That one ended up being flatter than I would have liked. A lot of them were actually flatter than I would have liked, but they were really cute, as well as this really cute portrait of, like, <laughs> Renaissance cat. I need to get one commission of Luna. 
we also thought about getting that checkered floor mat for like our future home and also thought about this little owl in the pool it reminded us of her sister's girlfriend and if you can see that put that in her hand right now that is like that painting too is like just like frankie joanna's mom's cat and we do have one of those paintings hanging hanging up in our bathroom already um, but we thought about trying to find one of frankie the other cat ollie and kind of recreating the bathroom in our new house to be like the one here there's also a hello kitty wall clock which hello love it um and then there was also a full-length mirror which i'm just you know gotta have a little dance break when you're shopping we loved this painting here. It was super cute. And that's what you want us to turn around. There's more Hello Kitty stuff. And guess what? Even more Hello Kitty stuff. There were super cute checkered prints of towels, of blankets. I wanted them all. Joanna loves that type of stuff too. Um, Joanna had pointed out a really cute jar for the bathroom, which we didn't end up getting because we don't have anything to match it. Um, but then we kind of moved on to looking at shower curtains, which at the time we were trying to find one for our future home, but we found an even cuter shower curtain. I believe it's on Anthropology that we did end up buying. So I'm super excited for that, but they did have some really cute, really cute shower curtains here. In this clip, I was trying to sneak up on Joanna. Um, but she saw me and she was shocked and I ended up having to run away. You don't, you don't sneak up on a Joanna in a store. Once I was ready to go home, I found my car, which was weirdly parked in a different spot than I left it in and, you know, just hopped on in, packed it all up and headed on home. Honestly, couldn't fit everything, so... Thank you so much for watching Mothballs. If you liked this video, please give it a like, share, subscribe, you know, leave a comment if you're feeling it. Um, and if you want to see any specific content, definitely leave it in the comment section below and I'll check it out and maybe we'll implement that into the next vlog. But I will be trying to upload vlogs. I'll be trying to upload vlogs every Wednesday. So stay tuned, keep an eye out, put your notifications on, and I'll see you later, mothballs.